Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Wackaroni. But you probably knew that because you clicked on it, and that's the name that's that's there underneath the video or something. Anyway, I got some new Dragon Ball stuff. I'm gonna show it to you. These are just for background. Uh, let me show you some new stuff. Here we go. Bloop. Goodness gracious, that is a hefty box. That is a big hefty boy, and we got ourselves Frieza in his third form. This is his second transformation, but I call it his third form because he's got a big tall boy with big spiky upward horns, and he's tall before this one, and then he sort of turns into this weird, uh, this weird xenomorph looking dude. I always thought it was kind of very interesting. Not that I love it, but I feel like they were sort of going, you know, they were going balls to the wall. They were going balls to the wall when they designed this uh, version of him. Very, very odd, very creepy. The Master Lice or Master Lease, whatever they call that thing. Bandai. Uh, yeah, it's a very big box. It came with a lot of tape on the top. That doesn't look great because there was a lot of things taped down. Uh, but still decent, mostly in decent shape, and uh, very very cool. So let's get a let's get a look at this little bo 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 boy. This bo 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 bo. Let's get a look at this bo 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 boy. All right, look at this mamma jamma. Looking all crazy, looking weird, looking looking alien, looking strange. He's got his he's got a tail, but it's partially broken off because uh, spoiler alert. Krillin cut it off on Namek when they were trying to fight him, but he just kept getting stronger and stronger And now he's got all these crazy spikes popping out all over the place. He stands fairly well It comes with this weird little stand thing, but it doesn't like it doesn't actually match up I, I don't know for sure. I think it's supposed to like Make sure his tail doesn't fall over, but it doesn't even like it doesn't even touch it So uh, I don't know if I, if I really need that uh, it looks really cool. You gotta kind of see him from a lower angle if you really want to get the face and everything in there. Uh, let's get a little bit closer. Alright, let's see here. I believe this is a top piece and a bottom piece. I believe that is, uh, I believe the bottom, this one big chunk plugs into the bottom, or the, the this whole big giant chunk. It uh, has a big weird bunch of plastic that you gotta take it out of. It is a big, hefty dude, and a lot of good detail. A lot of good detail. It's got a little little room in the mouth. You can see there's a little open area there. Lots of little cool design, not designs, but little uh, little wrinkly, wrinkly detail things in the white parts. Good shiny, just regular good shiny purple stuff. Hands, hands look nice. Good looking hands, lots of detail, looking good. Got the, got the color right, got the lines right. All these little things, of course, probably took a while to program into the 3D printer or whatever the hell they do to make these things. This weird little black speedo, but hey, that's Frieza. What you gonna do? Got his weird little purple bird feet. You know, can't hate a little purple bird foot unless you, you don't know, like a weird little thumb looking thing <laughs> poking out of your weird three-toed foot all the uh, the spikes very cool spikes all over the place making him look extra dangerous he pops out these extra spikes on the head when he transforms into this guy I always thought it was weird that he has this stuff on his face he always looked very very strange but Kira Toriyama was a an interesting man designing his characters I think this is very very good for the price it is a very good size it is hefty and it will be a great uh, a great addition to the rest of the uh, of the uh, Frieza area <laughs> the Namek area of my collection I'm a pretty big fan I think it's really cool I do recommend it uh, so get it if you like that kind of thing uh, let's check out the next thing hey look at that I think some of us know who this little gentleman is not so gentle not really a man this is Cell Imperfect Cell very large box, pretty simple back, uh, back of the box. So it shows you a little, a, t a little thing where the you're gonna be able to prop it up because it might fall backwards because that is a big old tail. Uh, looks pretty cool. Omnibus Ultra. I trust those guys and the Master Lice, Master Lease, whatever that is. They always have good stuff. Uh, so let's uh, let's take a let's 
Take a look at this big boy. Goodness gracious, look how tall this guy is. I'm gonna have trouble moving this around a little bit because it is so tall and that that tail makes it a little wobbly, even if you have the little bottom stand thing here. So I'm gonna have to be a little a little careful with this guy. Keep that I'll keep the stand handy. When we take a take a look from this distance. I'll try not to knock over the dragon with this tail. Look how long that tail is. It's a little be careful holding them up. It's a little curved there, but you know, like when you have this a really small thing like that, you gotta be, you know, sometimes they get bent. That's what she said. Real careful moving this guy around, but man, I am such a fan of this. All the detail that goes into all these little, these little spots and all the, the colors work right. It, he just, you know, he looks creepy. He looks like he's supposed to. He looks like he came straight out of the show. But almost like live action, the like the detail is all the way around. The uh, the top, the torso and the bottom, I believe, are one piece. And then you have the tail that you have to plug into this area, and these two wings you have to plug in. Um, let's take a little bit of a closer look without uh, knocking everything over. Hopefully, right? I gotta be super careful. I'm gonna try to remove those little things. So we can get a better look. And the tail's just barely gonna be kind of resting on the table there for now. So I don't knock anything over. It all just looks amazing. It looks like they put extra texture into like the chest area. It looks like there's like little wrinkles and stuff. The the paint job just on the face, it looks it looks amazing. It it, it looks so accurate. Such a creepy, creepy character. His, his feet, another bird-footed creepo weirdo, but it like he's supposed to be creepy and bug-like and strange. I always thought it was odd that he had those dots, it's got like weird, uh, almost like a leopard or something, like weird leopard spots or something. Tail is interesting. That black stripe goes all the way up to the the tip. That he uses his tail to absorb people. Um, man, it is it is really quite. Quite good, quite well made. Weird back of his head, I always thought that was kind of, looks like a basketball or something, weird back of his head thing. But what a great figure, man, they, look at that, they, all the little details in the back of the thigh and the, everything, man. This is, this is something to behold, ladies and gentlemen. A very, very well made figure. I've been putting off buying this one because it's a little on the expensive side, but for the size of this thing, this is like a 10 inch figure or something. This is very impressive. Very worth the money, in my opinion, if you are a collector of these types of things. I believe this is a very good purchase. I'm pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty happy with it. So, uh, there you go. That's a thumbs up for me. There you have it, folks. These are the new additions. I am very, very happy with them. This one in particular. This one is very, very well made. But it, uh, you can really see the detail and like the, the, all the work that went into like the paint job of this guy. Very, very impressive. Very, uh, very uh, good for the price. Gotta watch out for that tail. It is super long and unruly. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, leave me a comment if you feel like it. I like hearing what you guys have to say. And uh, I don't know, which figure is your favorite? Maybe out of your own collection if you like that kind of stuff. Or anyway, um, just hope you enjoyed the video. I like showing these things, and I'll have more to come later. So peace out, everybody. Let's catch you next time. Whippity doo. <laughs>